Hi, it's Miss Reese. I'm just going to go over the two column proofs in your unit five packet. So this is unit five. And right now we're on page 15. So I just want to go over what is a two column proof. Um, it is similar to a flow chart. The only difference is the way it's actually formatted. Okay, so we'll go through one of these together. So we still have here our given information. So right now we are given that A, E bisects B, D. So first thing that's being cut in half, first thing, first thing that's being bisected is this line here, B, D. This is a good way to get some extra practice for a proof. So we know that these two parts here would be congruent because we had a bisector. Okay, the other piece um, or the other part of our given information here is that AE is bisected. So this line here is also bisected. So I'm gonna put some congruent marks to show that these two parts here are equal to each other, but not necessarily the other two sides. Great. I have no more given information. So when I run out of given information, then I just start looking for, are there any reflexive shared common sides? Or are there any vertical bow tie angles? Well, there are some vertical angles that are congruent. So I'm gonna add my vertical angles marks here. So I like to mark up my diagram first and kind of figure out why they're congruent and then kind of fill in the, the flow chart. Okay, so we have A, E, bisects B, D. That was our first statement here. That was this given statement here. So in our proof, the reason why we can say that is because it's given. So just different from a flow chart, instead of having a box and a reason below it, we've got a statement and a reason next to it, okay? Based on that statement, we were able to say that these parts here were equal. That's definition of a bisector. So your reasons option should be all the top here. So definition of bisector. All right, our next statement here, we had a given statement that we bisected AE. So that was in our given information. And that's how we put these congruent marks here, the blue marks, the double congruent. And that's because if we have a bisector, that makes two parts equal. Let me scroll down just a little bit. So that's definition of bisector as well. And the other thing that's congruent are these angles here in the center of our diagram. Remember those are bow tie angles, we call them vertical. So we have a vertical, congruent angle statement, and the reason they're congruent is because they're vertical. And then we have the congruent triangles. So based on the marks that I place on my diagram, this right here is the side marking, then we've got an angle that's congruent to another angle, and we've got another side. And we would just wanna make sure, okay, is that angle in between the two sides? So it is, so out of, remember our five triangle congruencies, Side, 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 angle, side, angle, side, angle, 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 side, and hypotenuse leg. So out of those five reasons, it's going to be side, angle, side, congruency. And that's how you create a two-column proof.